Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailer Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit automate your business process from the project Customize and All to support a new business. This is the last unit of this project. So here we are going to automate our business process uh, by creating assignment tools and exhalation tools. So we will be creating, uh, for creating assignment tools, uh, we have some three steps to create queues. So we are going to create queue as well, and we are going to assign that queue for this assignment tool. So let's quickly, uh, this is the first step uh, to create the queue. So let's quickly launch our trailer playground, which I've already done, go to home setup page, and in quick find, just type queue, select this queues option, and we have to create a new queue. So click on this new button. Now here the label, I will be copying it from the challenge itself, which is billing support agents. Copy this and paste it in the label text area. Name will be auto-populated. Now scroll down to supported objects a section here. We have to select case object and add it to the selected object list. Scroll down to Q's members. Here we have to add Aaron and Fumiko as the members of this particular queue. Click on add button and move it to the selected members list. Now scroll up and click on save button. So our queue has been created. Next, we have to create the assignment rule. So we have done this, added the users as well. Now we have to create the case assignment rule. So again, go back to home setup and in quick find, just type assignment rule. This will filter out the option under service section uh, case assignment rules. Just click on this. Now there is this uh, standard rule already created. So we have to click on this link here and then we have to create a new rule entry. So click on this new button under rule entries. Now here the details have been mentioned here in this uh, table. So sort order has to be two and the criteria are met. So we have to run this rule only when the criteria are met. So uh, the criteria that we have to uh, add up here for this assignment rule is when status equals to new and case record type equals to billing. So I will be doing that here in the uh, rule entry. So uh, sort order is two run this rule if the criteria are met this is by default the same now for field uh, first of all just select case status so scroll down to case status and for the value i will be selecting new click on insert button and operator will be equals then second condition that we have is case record type and the value that we have to select is billing so if the case record type equals billing, then uh, select the user or queue to assign the case to. So whenever our case status is equal to new and record type is equal to billing, the record that we are creating for case will be assigned to this particular uh, user or the queue that we are going to put up here. So as per our chal challenge, we have to assign this to the queue that we just created. So whenever these conditions are satisfied for a case record, our uh, record will be assigned to the queue that we created, which was billing support agent. So select this over here. Then uh, coming up next, we have uh, the lookup icon and search for billing support agent. We have added this queue, click on save button. So scroll up and click on save button. So we have created this. Then also uh, make sure you have uh, this uh, rule activated, this case assignment rule as activated. If not, uh, basically for by default for this uh, challenge, it is already activated. So you, we, do not, we need not have to uh, change this here. Now coming up next, we have to go to app launcher and go to service app. Then in case tab, we have to create a new uh, case record uh, with billing uh, record type. So I will go back to the playground starter app page and here just select service from the, so uh, select the service app and go to case object. So let it load here, uh, select this case tab here and we have to create a new case record. Click on new button and select this billing uh, record type, click on next. 
Now the details have been mentioned over here. So I will be taking up that one by one. So contact name has to be seen Forbes. Account name, I will be copying it from here, which is edge communication. Go back here. Contact name will be seen Forbes. So this should uh, filter out for us. There you go. Then um, account name, we have to take edge communication. So I will, uh, so this is coming uh, by default. So I will select this edge communication. Then product, we can choose any product type will be electronic and case origin will be phone. So I will be doing that product. I'm selecting uh, 1040. Type will be electronic and origin will be phone. Subject, I will copy this from here, renew warranty. And before moving on further with the uh, subject, just select this phone, scroll down to bottom and in the description information section, just paste the subject, uh, this subject which we copied in the subject text area. Then copy this description and paste it in the description text area. Make sure you move the cursor back on the first line as it was uh, moved to the second one. Uh, it might consider that as a space, so we do not want uh, to run into any error. Then assign this active assignment rule, we have to select this checkbox. So let me just check this, uh, where this checkbox is. If I scroll up, okay. Let me just assign using for F. Okay, so this uh, condition is not coming up here. So what we have to do is uh, we have to go to our active assignment rule and we have to toggle that uh, active uh, status of this uh, rule. So click on this edit button, go to case assignment rule, which we just created. Click on uh, edit and deselect this active checkbox. Click on save and then edit it again and make it active. So this is the workaround that has been given up here in this uh, challenge itself that if assigned using active statement assignment rule is not appearing when creating a new case, return to the case assignment rule menu and set up, edit uh, it and uncheck the active check, uh, checkbox and save it. After saving, we have to activate it again. This toggle will ensure that assign using active statement assignment rule appears when creating, uh, creating a new case. So go back here and refresh this. I will refresh this here. So refresh your browser. Let us just see if this appears again. So this setting has been saved. It is active again. Now let's go to uh, cases again and click on this new button. Here I will provide the details again, select record type as billing, click on next. Then contact will be seen Forbes. Select this account name will be edge communication. Case origin has to be phone. Product, you can select any, I'm selecting 3040. Type will be electronic. Subject, I will copy it from the challenge, the new warranty and paste it in the subject text area. Description, I will copy it again from the client wants to renew warranty and remove this cursor from second line to uh, back uh, first line by using backspace key. Now, as you see, this uh, checkbox is coming up, assign using active assignment rule. So we have to simply check this checkbox as it is mentioned here that we have to select this. So select this, so this will, this record that we are creating will use the assignment tool that we just created a few minutes back. So click on save now, Let's just see what uh, who, to whom this case has been assigned to. Uh, so if I just uh, scroll down and see. So case owner using assignment rule, trailhead explanation to billing support agent. As you can see, case owner has been changed to billing uh, billing support agent. You can also see that in under details tab, you will find case owner and here the case owner is billing support agent. So our case assignment rule is working absolutely fine. Then next we have escalation rule. So again, go to home setup page and in the escalation rule, we have to go to escalation rule and create a new one. So in the quick find, just type 
escalation. So this will filter out uh, option under service uh, section escalation rule. Click on this option here. We have to create a new one. So click on new button. And here we have to type the rule name as support. So I will copy this up and paste it in the rule name area. Activate the checkbox and click on, click on save button. Then uh, we have to choose new newly created support rule and we have to enter these rule criteria or entries that we have here in our challenge. First of all, activate this, click on save. Now this will create a rule. Now select the one that we just created and it is also activated. So click on this uh, link over here and we have to create a new rule entry. Click on new button. And to start with, there are details mentioned in this table. So sort order has to be one. Run this rule whenever criteria are met. And what are the criteria that are mentioned over here? So case reason, whenever equals to performance, uh, we have to escalate this case. So go back here. Sort order will be one. This condition is by default selected. And case reason equals to performance is the condition that we have to take up here. So case reason okay let's go to here and say case reason in the C uh, it should be here. There you go case reason equals to performance. So I will select Performance checkbox, click on insert button and operator will be equals. Then I, uh, I think nothing else we have to uh, make changes over here in the setting. Just simply click on save button and save all the settings that we have created for this rule entry. Now we have to go to uh, this new button again. So we have to update a, a rule entry of newly created support escalation rule. So what we'll do is we have to go to this escalation action. So once we save this rule entry below, you will find the escalation action section. Here we have to click on new and specify the details that have been mentioned in the challenge. So over here, you will see that age over. So this is the uh, text, uh, this is the field which contain the number of hours after which our case should be escalated. and if it has not been closed. So if a clo case has not been closed, this case will be escalated after the amount of uh, time that we are going to mention it. So this time, uh, the, the number which we are going to specify here will be in R. So if I say one, this means one hour. And if I'll say tw uh, 12, so this means 12 hours. After 12 hours, this case will be escalated, if not closed. And here from using this drop down, you, we can assign the minutes as well. So for the age over value, we have to take up one. So I will go back here and assign one here. Now, in order to, uh, now the next setting is we have to notify this user lookup. Under that, we are going to select our name itself. So notify user, click on this lookup under the section notify user. Click on this uh, lookup button and paste, uh, take the name that we have uh, of our org. So mine is trailhead explanation. I will be taking that up here. And for the notification template, click on this lookup icon again, and you will see that the template that we have to use is support escalation case, case notification template. So I will go back here, click on this lookup icon and select the, the template which has been mentioned over here. I will just quickly copy this from this challenge itself and paste it in the search bar. So let's just paste this over here so it could filter, click on go button and select this case notification. Now, nothing else we have to change over here. Let me just cross check here. So nothing else we have to do, just save the settings that we have created for the escalation action. Click on save button, so this will get saved. Now, next we have to go to app launcher again under case tab, we have to create a new case by the report type product support and the details have been mentioned over here. So we'll follow the same. So let's go back to 
cases. Click on this cases tab again, and we have to click on new button in order to create a new case. Select the product support record type and click on next. Here we have to provide the details that have been mentioned in the challenge. So contact name, again, it is seen Forbes and account name will be edge communication. We can choose product of any choice type will be electronic email and performance. Uh, so let's just go there. Contact will be seen Forbes. So I will search for scene. Select this account name has to be edge communication product. We can select any product. I'm selecting 1060. Type will be electronic again, as it is there. Email uh, case origin will be email. Case reason will be uh, reason. Reason will be performance, and subject will be laptop not working. So let's go back here. Case reason will be uh, performance. Case origin will be phone. I'm sorry, it has uh, email. Let's just change it to email. Subject, I will paste it here in the subject text area. And the description, I will again copy it here and paste it in the description text area. Make sure you take the cursor to the first line back using the backspace and select this assign using active assignment rule setting as well. So click on this uh, setting that you can see over here on the bottom left. Click on save button and that's all we had to do for this uh, new record. Now we have to copy the case number of the case which we just created. So let's just copy this and mon uh, next I will tell you what we have to do uh, by using this uh, number case number. So I will be copying this case number from this field case number. So this is the case number that we have. Now on the home setup again uh, you will type in the quick find escalation and you will find under monitoring section case escalation. So click on this option here and going back to our challenge, it is mentioned that we have to filter case escalation queue to show the cases you just created by entering the criteria case to escalate equals case number that we just created. So let's just go back there and do the same. So here you will land on this case escalation monitoring screen. So click on case to escalate equals the case number that we just copied, paste it, paste it here and click on search button. So the case escalation action under case ex uh, escalation action, you can see it will escalate after one hour and zero minute. And if you will see when it will escalate. So escalate at, uh, uh, it is 10.48 a.m. As of now, it was added on uh, added at 9.48 a.m. As you can see the column over here. So all the details when this uh, escalation will happen and what is the escalation action, what is the age over, everything is mentioned over here in the uh, case, uh, case escalation monitoring section. So over here, you can use this uh, feature to monitor when your case escalation will happen. So that's all we had to do over here in this unit. Just simply click on this verify step to earn 100 points, whether we have completed all the requirements that are mentioned over here in this challenge. Let's just wait for it to give out the results and hopefully we should be able to pass. There you go. This unit as well as this project is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you.